I share a lot of things on my YouTube page. A lot of uh, personal understanding of bees and how I manage my stock. Blah de dee, blah de dee, blah. I tend not to divulge more of my business type operations or strategies and such. Like management strategies is a lot different than business strategy. And I typically don't dive into that because it's money, it's money issue. Um, in that sense, it's nobody's business really, but in that sense, my personal decisions on how I manage this business is very personal. And it's made in a collaborative effort amongst our farm with not only short-term strategy, but long-term strategy on pulling out profits, managing risk all at the same time. And everybody has a different way of managing their risks, managing their money, managing their ability, their facility. And this is something you do not get out from many business owners because it's so personal. And well, it's intimidating to show people your struggle. I just need to follow through with telling the story as I'm battling whatever is happening. Things are changing, like everything, never, nothing is ever the same, it seems. And I thought I've put together a very good strategy, but the strategy fell apart over the last couple of years because a number of things hurt. Well, the strategy I had together wasn't good enough to manage the problems that we faced. It was overwhelming in a lot of sense. So I'm trying to put together a strategy that I can bring back my old style of self-sufficiency, internal building, reduced costs, driving the profits, just a fantastic strategy. All the while trying to bring in some kind of a facility or function to manage the extreme risk and potential loss that I experienced over the last couple of years. How to bridge those to through those periods of time while maintaining my existing strategy. What's the verdict there, Ian? Things are looking all right. <laughs> Filling up the, the truck. One shake at a time, eh? One shake at a time, you bet. Nice to have a lot of guys doing this job. Well, you just need a lot of hands. That's a good one. That's an Ian special, eh, for you two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a bargain. Back in Alberta, that has got to be one of the most spectacular trips through the mountains that I've been on yet. These are holding at about 20 degrees, and it's about 23 degrees outside right now. 
holding nice and tight in a cluster. And they smell really good. Pit stop in Airdrie. Nice little break for my girls. About 10 degrees right now. We are about to load them. And then head east. right now well the last two years I've blown my reserve that's the problem I'm just trying to rebuild my reserve but typically rebuild and hold a one-third of my apiary to my battery and I've decided I'm gonna bump that up to 50% I'm sure as hell that'll be able to help me through the tough years so that's what these are these bees from Komodo the BC bees not only bringing in more genetics, bringing in different types of queens, outsourcing a little bit of the queens, but bringing in completely and totally different fresh stock. I'm looking at my apiary right now and holy shit, I must be a good beekeeper because everything is just doing absolutely spectacular. But it's gonna turn, like it could turn just on a dime like that. And this winter, going into March, I sure as hell know what I'm going to be saying. I'm going to be watching my colonies, you know, stressed, struggling, and I'm going to be hoping for winter to follow through with a nice spring like we had this year. But it's not always going to, so that's why I brought in this stock. And if I don't need it, I'll sell it. So anybody want some BCBs next year if I have a good winter? This is some spectacular breeding program. We had just started seeding, which is perfect for the honey farm because that's pushed my honey flow a little bit further back. So I have the bees, I have the, you know, the farm pushing the crop back a little bit. We have the moisture so far. I have the manpower. I have the facility, I have the boxes. I just need Mother Nature to cooperate and this could be a good year. Cause I need one after last year.